Welcome to Unza Digital Media Hub News Roundup this week. To present it, my name is Chiloyo Kwashike Jr. And I am Vine Mfune. President Eddie Galungo has launched a 470 million kwacha Mount Central Youth Empowerment Program aimed at giving opportunities to young people. He has since directed councils on the Ministry of Lands to avail lands to young entrepreneurs, stating that government will listen more to them and address their concerns. Minister of Home Affairs Stephen Kampiongo has banned police officers from arresting and charging 750 kwacha fines to members of the public for not wearing masks. Kampiongo says police officers should only warn and sensitize violators of the statutory instrument 21 and 22 to ensure that the enforcement is carried out with the framework of the law to prevent the spread of the pandemic. The Electoral Commission of Zambia has drawn a roadmap for activities leading to the 2021 general elections. According to ECZ Public Relations Manager, Margaret Chimanse, the Commission will this year conduct voter registration from 19th October to November 20. Government has informed the public and various stakeholders that the Zambian Statistics Agency, ZAMSTATS, is in the final stage of concluding mapping data collection in the last provinces. Minister of National Development Planning, Alexander Chiteme, has disclosed that the pre-census activities started late and have been delayed partly because of the gassing incidents that affected some parts of the country and the coronavirus pandemic. Police working with the Lusaka City Council have arrested an unnamed man of Lusaka for exhuming bodies of stillborn babies at Chingwere Cemetery. The suspect led the police and LCC workers to his hideout where baby clothes and coffins have been found. He has since been put into police custody as investigations continue. And finally, in local news this week, the Zambia Revenue Authority ZRA Commissioner General Kingsley Chanda says the authority has collected over 25.7 million kwacha through mobile tax payment solutions in the last three years. Chanda has explained that the authority implemented its first mobile payment solution in April 2017 and by the end of July 2020, over 52,000 mobile transactions for tax payments have been conducted, translating into 25.7 million kwacha. And in international news this week, Mali's President Ibrahim Bubaka Keita announced his immediate resignation on state television late Tuesday hours after he and the Prime Minister were arrested by rebellious soldiers in a coup. This event sparked international condemnation and are likely to further destabilize the West African nation following months of anti-government mass protests and mutiny from Islamist labels. And in sports news this week, Football website Kandanda has awarded Zambian striker Aubrey Chira for being the only player to score two hat-tricks in the 2019-2020 Tanzanian League Cup season. The award was presented to him at the launch of the Chamanza Week. That concludes the Digital Media Hub News Roundup. On behalf of the production crew and the entire team, it's a goodbye and remember to join us again for more news next week Friday.